the first thing we're going to do is uh, set up our horizon. So uh, you could create a new layer for this. I'm going to do that. Put everything on different layers. It's just easier. And I'm going to... So this is for a two-point perspective. I'll, of course, I'm going to click here, and I'm going to click uh, Shift key, and draw a perfect line. So I'm happy with that. You can put it lower, you can put it higher. I think lower is usually better. And then what you're going to do is, same as uh, the last time, you're going to go to your Polygon tool and make sure the Fill, Shape, 1.1 size this setting should all still be the same and then just like you did the last time now you could start by drawing it right away where you want it uh, on screen let's start with on screen and you can move it after and then once you have it down you click uh, and you draw out and then make sure you make it a lot bigger and you can even go control minus here I, it won't allow me until I let go so I'd have to do it before I'm gonna let go now and you see it became crooked, so it's very important that you not do that. So let's go control minus, just because you want it to be a little bit bigger. So um, I'm going to go here. And the reason it's simple is because I'm going to move this after. So I'm right there, it's perfectly lined. So I had to make sure this line is perfectly set up. So now I'm going to draw another uh, point. So to have the two point perspective, not instead of just the one. I'm going to go straight on the line and draw where I think I would like to have this again and I'm going to make sure the lines are straight so make sure that middle line is as straight as possible and that's pretty good so I'm going to let go now and so now I maybe I want to draw on this already so I can go control plus and I'm happy and I'll just make sure I select on this tool and I can start drawing I just want to show you something in case you decide you don't want to draw on it right away so what you're going to do is you're going to go to the direct selection tool which is the white arrow tool and in between the arrows, click and drag. And now you've selected this spot. So using the shift key, now I can move this uh, away from, oh, I just gotta make sure it's selected. Let's do that again. So it's selected. Now I'm gonna move it to over here. And I have my finger on the shift key, so this is allowing me to move my horizon point. So let's pretend I wanted to have a perspective where the horizon point is a little bit off. So now I'm going to say, all right, I'm happy with this. So what I'm going to do now is go and click the move tool and just click here and zoom in control plus. Now I'm going to draw now. I'm going to begin my drawing. So obviously I need to create a layer and um, you're going to be using the rulers here as you usually uh, should. It's just popped up here. I'll get rid of that. Um, make sure you click on the move tool again. It's got disabled there. Press the B key for the brush. It's not enabled. Oh, my layer needs to be there. And I'm going to draw right on the layer. So I'm going to go click, click the shift key, and there you go. Okay. And now to help me draw a line, I'm going to draw an arrow here or a uh, ruler. And I want this line to go all the way over here. And I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to click Shift and fill that in. And I'll click over here, this line. And I'm using another ruler to help me make sure I have a straight line. So I'm going to go click here, Shift, and then go all the way down, make sure I'm using the same line. And down here, OK. And then I'm going to, you know, you can make the building as long as you want or whatever it is that you're building here. So I'm asking everybody to create at least one square. I'm going to draw, drag another one. Oops. Control Z. I want, to, I'll make it go all the way out to here, let's say. So I'm going to go and click Shift. Click. And then over here. Then I want to use that sound. You see I'm kind of a little lower than where the line is. That's fine. I can just go a little lower. And now I'm going to go, you see I'm not on a line here, so you don't have to be on a line, but you, you kind of do have to make sure you're trying to follow. Um, so let's go here. Oops. Like so drag this about where should it go to? So I'm going to draw it from here to here, roughly, okay? It's about where I think it should 
go based on using the lines. You might say it's not low enough, but I'll let you experiment with that. So there you go. So this is two point perspective. Now you could draw one or two boxes minimum and then upload this and uh, uh, that will be the basics and then you can start and uh, create your work.